My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is our Wednesday edition of uh, of our live draw. We we get together every uh, we get together every Wednesday at two o'clock, and we draw the portrait here. My name's Kurt, and uh, if you are interested or or need a, a fun group or a home to get together with a bunch of other artists and learn. We have a very active Facebook group that I would uh, recommend that you join and uh, just enjoy that time with us. You can find a link down in the description, okay? Let's see, what else? Did I forget anything? Uh, except turning on, setting up my mic and having that roll, right? Well, anyways, so uh, today we're going to take a look at this, uh, uh, this portrait of this girl here. We... You know, in our Facebook group, uh, I usually put a vote. I will um, upload a number of pictures and then let everyone vote on which photo they want to uh, um, go with. Well, this was our second place winner. I think it was a, a close tie. So I thought that we would just go ahead and use this for this week. If you have any questions as we are drawing, by all means, just please uh, post them in the uh, comments and I will uh, quickly address them. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And like everything else, um, try and keep your drawing small. Don't go gigantic because we have a lot to cover in a shorter period of time. Um, this is only gonna be an hour drawing and uh, if you draw super big, you won't be able to keep up for one and you won't be able to get the same coverage. So. Five by seven, those are inches, is what I would recommend. Don't go much bigger than that. And you might even go even a little bit smaller. And especially if you're using a pencil or a mechanical pencil, um, that is definitely what I would, would shoot for. Okay, so let's see here now. Let me make sure that I am broadcasting my screen here. Okay, I think we are good to go, and there we are. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So, first thing I want you to do is we're going to uh, hold your pencil at the very beginning here, toward the back end, so you're you're loose, and we're going to draw a sphere. All right. So whenever we uh, draw the portrait, I always go through a process. Uh, and I think of the, the 2D axis, the 3D axis, and the placement of the face, okay? So what the 2D axis is simply is the head leaning to the left or to the right. Once we establish that, then we ask ourselves, is the head coming forward or is it going back? And then thirdly, where along this axis is the face, is the face painting? is the face pointing, okay? So in this case, we get an, we, the 2D axis there, she's straight up and down, but the 3D axis, she's, her head's coming forward just a little bit. So that would be our first, we wanna get that nice angle here, okay? And then this, of course, is a uh, profile with a, it's a, there's a slight turn toward the camera on that. So it's not 100% uh, profile, but it's close enough. So let's get that front end of the, of the face here coming down. Okay. Now, the next line I wanna look for is the brow line. Now the brow line will go right through the eyebrows. This is the brow. And then it, it, it connects up with the ears. So in this case, let's just kind of get a feel for where the brow line, I think the brow line is almost going to be centered here, but it's going to come in this angle because I could see that the ears, the top of the ears are slightly lower than the brow line. You see that? Okay. And if I go too fast, just... Throw a comment in the uh, chat here and I'll slow down, okay? Okay, top of the ear. Let's let's kind of mark our ear in here and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use some straight lines here. 
and we can come back. We'll adjust that a little bit later. Okay, next thing, let's get this jaw. And you can see that jaw is, is dropping down from the ear just a little bit, right? Okay, so look at look at, at our picture here. Some just some general proportions that you might want to be aware of. From the brow line to the hairline. Now, of course, my my hair is receding, but generally it's it's a third distance. So <clears throat> her her brow line is right there, and her uh, hairline is going to be somewhere maybe maybe roughly up there. Okay. So we go, we take that measurement and we drop that down to a third. A third is going to be the base of the nose. So we, we think, we like to think of it in thirds. So third to the base of the nose and then, <clears throat> and then another third down to the, down to the chin. Right about there. We might make it. We might make an adjustment here. In fact, I could already see I'm going to make an adjustment. All right, coming back here to the jawline, right back here at this corner. <clears throat> I'm looking. I'm. I'm looking to keep copy this angle here. So right away, I could see that I probably went a little low with my chin, but that's okay. Another. Another device that I use to measure my proportions <coughs> or a tool is using horizontal lines. So let me show you how I'm going to do that right here. Let's say we, we take a mark underneath her ear there and then we draw a horizontal line going right across and that horizontal line says her nose lines up with the bottom of her ear. You see that? So let's put that in place. So bottom of the ear is lining up with the bottom of her nose. Okay, that, that's helpful. And then let's take another, let's take another measurement here. And let's go from the top of her ear and get an idea of, of how that lines up with her eyes. So I could see that her eyes are slightly, <coughs> slightly below that top line there. <coughs> so her eyes are going to be somewhere probably down in here. You see that? So at this early stage I'm making all kinds of measurements to get my proportion straight on okay look at this other one I see look at this look at the angle the angle of her ear you see that and look at my, the angle of my ear okay well guess what I gotta I gotta fix that so I need to I need to come back like this Keeping it light. All right. So let's get this. Let's use this. I'm, I'm always using different like things on the picture as measurements. Okay. So for example, look at the size of this bun. And I'm kind of jumping over a little bit. But this is how I'm going to lock everything in place without committing to anything right off the bat. So look at the size of that bun and its position. So it, it kind of starts right there. And it goes to the top of the head here just a bit. You see that? Okay. And that that bottom of that bun lines up really with like <clears throat> with her mouth, you see? And I'm as I'm drawing this, I could automatically see that my circle, my original circle, probably is a little too big. But 
I can use that as a springboard and just keep making adjustments. <coughs> I think key for me was the size of her ear. That's that's my <coughs> that's what I'm basing all these measurements as I'm going forward on. Okay. So we use we use horizontal lines. <clears throat> we also use negative space. So what is the negative space? So check this out. <clears throat> Look at the negative space from the corner of her eye back to that ear. You see that? You see that distance right there? <clears throat> and then the front, from the front there to her nose. Look at that distance. What is that? Is that possibly thirds going across? It is. Okay, let's let's try and uh, figure that out there. So this is the uh, that right there is going to be that that mark right there, and so to the back of her ear, which is going to be right about there. You see that? We got to break that down into thirds. So let's just kind of roughly. Okay, that looks pretty good to me, right there. So this right here is going to be the corner of her eye. Oh yeah, that's a good measurement. Bottom of her ear. Okay, so that's about where her nose is going, the bottom of her nose. And then I've also said the bottom of the bun ends up being almost like uh, the, let's see. Let's draw this out here. Bottom of the bun ends up being like the under part of her lip. All right, so we got that right there. Okay. I'm always, always looking for these type of relationships here. Well, let's let's here's another one. Let's let's start working. Let's get her hand. Let's block her hand in as well. So let's look at this right here again. Here's a use of negative space. Look at look at that shape right there. You see that? So we could use that. We could try and match that shape. All right. So it's going to come down here. Okay. And and the outside of her hand, look how look how straight how straight that is right there. I could change the color here so you can see it. Look how straight that is. You see? So let's just block that in. That's gonna almost be a straight. And then the inside, look at this. This is also very straight down here. Okay, so let's just let's just keep this uh Let's just keep this rolling here. So that's going to be about a straight like that. Okay. Just continuing with some of these measurements here, right? Let, let, let's come back and revisit the inside here. Let's get some features in now, okay? I'm going to... I'm going to erase some of these red lines here. So we have some some idea of how these measurements are working for us. All right, let's get the nose in. How about that? So this is this is the eye line and we can see the nose is starting here. And Sloping out, right? And we're coming in just like that. Okay, close up of that nose. Check this out now. Think of the nose as you, you've got this on a side profile, you've got the, the outline there, okay? And then and then you've got the nostril that, that's going to come in like this. And then sitting sitting on top of that is going to be uh, 
the wings of the nose. You see that? Wings of the nose sit on top of that idea. So think of think of the nose as three parts. All right. So let's we got that great. Let's go ahead and get this uh, nostril in here, and then let's get this wing going here. And just watch your proportion. All right, let's get a little, uh, let's get, come in here and get this top of the lip going. Okay, now look, now be aware that the, the bottom lip is set back further, okay? So we're gonna do a small little scoop. Now let's let's carefully look for this. That's that's pretty key right there. That's a pretty that's the edge of her smile there. So let's let's take a look at our, our picture here and try and place that accurately. One one that that really that lines up right with the with the corner of her jaw. You see that? And then there's the wing there's the the corner of the wing of her nose so you could see that it's a little further back than that all right so if this is the wing of the nose here and it's lining up with the jaw i'm gonna be maybe right about there i think and thank you john for, that's a fine welcome i appreciate that my friend Okay, the angle, the angle of the corner of the mouth is 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 that it's at that angle. So let's just come up here and, and capture the top of that lip and it it dips and then comes down. All right. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. Bottom of the lip is going to go straight back just a little bit, and then head right back to that corner, you see? Okay, now let's, let's get this, let's start this bottom lip here. Remember, now look closely, observe. Key, the thing about drawing is, is really getting your eyes, really looking carefully at what you're working on here. <coughs> so look at this. There's, there is the, there is the, the tip of the, the mouth there, but look how far back, look how far back that lip is. You see that? We gotta capture that. I'm going to erase some of this here. Oh boy, I know what I've done. Oops. I'm going to erase some of this so we don't. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's bring this. Let's bring this lip in here. I'm looking closely at the reference. I'm gonna erase this so we can really get an idea of what's happening there. And then look at that shadow underneath there. You see this, this almost goes straight out And curves back around okay
Okay, bottom of the chin. Let's not, let's be careful now. Bottom of the chin is going to be straight, like a straight line. And then I'm going to come up just ever so slightly here. And round that chin up. Now I can finish my jaw. And, and when I draw a jaw, one thing I like to do is I like to start my line by pushing down. But as I as I make my line, I pull up on my pen. So I could I could just kind of let let the imagination fill between the lines. <clears throat> there was I was read or I heard from someone someone who does architectural drawing. A lot of times, will do something like this. They'll start a line, and they will push down and then pull up, and then they'll hit a little dot of where that line's supposed to go. It's a really great way to make a line. You you push down, <coughs> you pull up. And it kind of <clears throat> gives you where the line needs to go. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's we got our ear. Let's let's come uh let's look at this ear here. This ear is interesting. It it kind of starts off very flat and then comes towards us. You see that? The top of the ear there. So we have a nice containment line. So let's get the outside shape of it here, right? So we're gonna have a little bit of an edge there. And then just make this as graceful as you can, just the outside line there. I think I could make that a little more graceful, right? Okay, that's my edge first. And so let me draw, let me show you what we're going to do. And I'm going to draw it first over here. So we're going to start with this outside edge like this, okay? Now, the top part is coming towards us. So the way that we're going to do this is simply this. Now watch this. Now I'm going to draw a line like this. And then up top here, I'm going to come in like that. You see? And then down here, right here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to continue that edge coming around. And so doing so, doing so, it causes this section because I'm using overlap, using like the letter Y to pop this forward, you see? And then we'll come down here in the bottom like this. Let's do that. So we're gonna start off with a nice line up there. There goes the inside, you see the little Y there. And then I'm gonna Underneath this guy, just bring him in. All right, let's get the Y of the ear, the Y of the ear. You could see it on mine even. It's 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 like right there, you see? It's like a letter Y. She has one too. It's not quite like mine, but is great because mine is fitting for a man. <laughs> now, as long as we're on it, let's talk about shading this ear real quickly. We could do it with two tones, okay? So let's, this first tone, let's just curve it here on the 
here and just drop an overall tone over this whole ear. Just one common tone. We just, the thing is we don't want to touch that top, this top little bit right there. You see how bright that is? And then I'm going to punch my dark right in here. Punch my other dark right in there. There's, we just drew, we just shaded that ear with two tones. All right, let's get this eye in here now. Let's look at this closely. Let's deconstruct this just a little bit, okay? So, of course, an eye is built around a round sphere. All right, that's the eyeball. And in this case, you could, you could just through practice, you could drop the pupil in and you could kind of get an idea of the size of it. And if I look at the her, her, if I now think of, if I think of building this eye, building this over a sphere, I get it come in a nice straight line there. And then on the back side here, look at this, it's gonna curve around. Just like that. Now, here's a mistake that I see people make all the time is they leave the white of the eye white, but you could see it's very dark. So let's let's add some tone into that right away because we don't We don't want it to be as bright white as we think it is oftentimes. Now she has a, I can see she has a little bit of mascara and, and the top, the top of her bottom eyelid. See, let me draw it like this. Let me show you this. Let's pretend like that's the eyelid right there. It's like a, it's like a small ledge Okay, well, that little, that's picking up light and you can actually see it. You can see the light it's picking up in her eyeball there. So we're going to come down here. Just give yourself just a little bit of, just a sliver of light there. And then we could come in here and add a little bit of tone underneath. Then we could get that. Now we could work on that top eyelid. And we can add a little bit of tone. All right. Let's jump in and do the real thing now, okay? All right, so this is the back corner. We have already established that. Now let's look at this. Let's let's get the other side of it. So there's there's the bridge of the nose, and if I just where does where does this where does this line up? That's really what I'm asking myself right here. Where does the corner? Oops, wrong color. Where does the corner of that eye line up? Okay, it's 
a vertical lining up right on the inside part of her uh, nostril right there, you see? So if I make a visual, it's gonna be right about there. So let's come in here now and get that top part of the eyelid. It goes straight that we just practiced and then cuts down. All right, let's get this pupil in. I can probably even add a little bit more there, right? Now I could add that little bit of white just by not leaving that slightly, you see? Add some tone to get rid of the whites of the eye. Okay, now I can add just a little bit of tilt underneath the eye and I can, I'll come back. I can come back and darken that up if I need to. I'm going to thicken up that top line a little bit. Tone in the back end of that uh, eyelash. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> oh, as I think of it, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's drop in that and let's drop in that uh, other eyelash on the other eye and you could look at the position of it now. It's, it's slightly higher. You see that? So let's come up here and just extend that out just a bit. All right, let's let's come back in and kind of tackle this uh, hand here slightly, okay? Now we could, first thing we want to do is that we're going to get the inside of her neck here. Now we have enough information that we could get this, this position of her neck. You see that? So let's, let's extend this up and see where this is, that diagonal right there. Okay, all right, we kind of got, got an idea there. That's good. I'm also, before I draw that, I'm also looking at this, this negative space in here. You see that? So let's see here, right about there. I think that looked pretty good. Um, different, a little slightly 
different angle there. Okay, that looks pretty good like that. There's going to be a slight curve here. Now I'm going to look very closely. This negative shape, this is the other, this is another tool of measurement I use. Okay, I want to try and capture that negative shape. So let's see here. Let's We're going to come down here, straight across. Straight down. And you can see I'm just I'm just slowly getting that negative shape in. These are just tools. Tools to get you close. There's a really important line in her neck. I'm going to show it to you in just a second. But before we do that, let's get the back the back side of her neck here. And what I mean by that is right this this back here. Okay. That's going to be way back here. Somewhere like that. And then usually the back side. This is. This ends up being a curve, a nice, a nice round curve when you're drawing anatomy. This is this is the tendon right here. You see this tendon? That's that's really really important. First, if you, I'm gonna leave that up there. In fact, I'm gonna get a little bit more tea, and I'll leave it just like that for a second. I'll come right back. Okay, so you've got this you've got this tendon here. You see that? I'm gonna erase it now so you can actually see it. Oop, that was too much. I erased too much there. Okay, you you see that now? <clears throat> That's a really important mark to put in. Subconsciously you're gonna see that every time, so it doesn't have to be dark, just just enough for you as the viewer, whoever views it won't even notice it, but if it wasn't there, it would look quite flat. Looks like we're having some, uh, let me just double check here. What's going on? All right, we're good there. Oh, look at that. Pause for an hour. Let's see if that helps. Okay. And hopefully that'll help a little bit there. Little delay there. Hmm? 
Hold on, let's just see if this corrects itself. Okay, I think we're looking, we're back to good here. So let's give it a second. I'll let you get caught up. Hopefully you were able to use that for, uh, we'll get a little caught up there. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So we've got, uh, let's jump in and work on this hand here now, okay? So let's go ahead and start. We've got the containment line of this hand here. Let's get the angle of our wrist. And then our, our fingers. Let's just, let's just keep, try and keep this simple here, okay? First finger, let's do that. That ring finger is the most prominent, right? So let's just drop that down first and keep it simple. I'm just going to use like straight lines here. Okay. Then let's build behind that. So the pinky is going to go behind that like this. Middle finger is going to be right on top. It's coming right up here, right, right behind the lips there. And then you see the other finger right below, right behind the chin come in, just like that. All right, we got our thumb coming down. And if you're interested, I do have uh, some great classes of drawing 20 hands in 20 days. We, we did that over the summertime and I will uh, leave a link where you could uh, try that out. But, and that will give you a lot more uh, um, help in that area if that's something you're interested in. Okay, let's continue on here. Let's get this, let's get a little bit of the hairline here in the next 10 minutes, right? So we, and I'm thinking of the hair as, as as pieces all right as a mass <clears throat> slowly working back up and in order to get some of these like nice long straight lines i'm going to draw from my elbow and pull, pull my hand through. So the way that I'm thinking of this hair, I'm thinking is this That as a section, I'm thinking of, of this as a section. There's a section there for you. And there's a section there, okay? <clears throat> Breaking this down.
starting big and then just breaking it down. One other technique I like to use that sometimes helps me to get my nice, nice round objects is to try and draw them with straight lines. Get a uh, containment area. So what I'll do now is I'm going to take my I'm going to take my pen and just drop an overall tone over the hair here. And now I can go back in there and start working up my darks and then my lights. All right. Well, I think that that brings us almost to the top of the hour here. And uh, that should get you uh, well on your way there. So uh, I'll just uh, post your work in our Facebook group. I'd love to see it. And I appreciate you watching. My name's Kurt and I'm a dad who draws. And we will see you next week, okay? Next Monday is our landscape class, and then we'll be back again next Wednesday with another portrait, okay? Thanks for watching, and John, I appreciate all the comments, my friend. Okay, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.